Hey everyone, what's going on? Thanks for stopping in, danbarpens.com. Robert here. Uh, I just got an email from somebody that asked me if I could make a pen for them. They purchased this pen. It's the um, semi-auto handgun mock-up click pen, ballpoint pen off uh, Penn State Ind Industries. I pour my own acrylic, generally speaking, and I put this picture of this zombie chick attacking this guy. I put this picture inside the pen. Well, he purchased this pen a while back. I don't remember when it was. But he just emailed me and asked me if I could make this pen with a different picture. And I'm like, sure, no problem, all day long. Well, he sent me this picture. He sent me this, this Dallas Cowboys. So I just figured I'd take a real quick second here, which knowing the way I tend to ramble will probably be more than a second, but my wife calls them Robert Minutes. So we're going to go through how we put this picture into this pen. So first thing I want to do is I want to tweak the picture a little bit. It's got to be able to fit. This is the original pen. So the size of this is, it's about two and a quarter tall by an inch and a quarter wide. And then that wraps around the pen tube. So this pen tube is 2.225 tall and the diameter of it, or the circumference of it, I'm sorry, all the way around, is 1.25 inches. So in pixel terms, that's 375 pixels by 669 pixels. Well, this picture doesn't fit those specifications. Plus, looking at it, these corners are, are uh, they're white, so I'm going to change these. Now, obviously, Dallas Cowboys, uh, copyright for Dallas Cowboys and whoever owns them and all that kind of stuff. This isn't like, um, you know, uh, licensed equipment or anything. This this guy asked me if I could make him this pen, and he wants this picture in it. So, please don't send me any copyright infringement stuff. So, I'm going to pick this black color. We're going to fill these corners in. I'm just going to grab a pencil. You go to your black and you get a color picker, the little eyedropper thing. So we're gonna pick this black, click OK, and then we're just gonna color in these areas of white over on this corner as well. And then on the bottom, it's blue, so we go back to the color picker get your eyedropper, pick this color blue, click OK, and then we color this in. Other side. Okay, so that's done. And then there's a little little white thing here on the edge. <clears throat> and I don't like this little line here, so we're going to crop this real quick. This isn't a Photoshop tutorial. Uh, I'm not a super professional at Photoshop. I just know how to tweak a few things. So we're going to square it up. I'm going to blow it up and make sure I got a good edge. That's probably good enough. We crop it. Okay. So, colors are done. Now we've got to make it two and a quarter tall by one and a quarter wide. So, what I did is I took this size of a canvas, which again is 375 by 669. So we're just going to make a new canvas. We're not even going to make a new canvas. We're just going to make this canvas bigger. So you go to image, canvas size, not image size, canvas size. And obviously at this point in time, it's the same as this. 
So we're going to go up to 669. You know what? We're going to change the size of this picture first to 375 width. Okay, everything's constrained. That makes it shorter than it needs to be, but it's the right width now. So now we go to canvas size and we make it the right height, which is 669. Boom, there you got extra canvas. Now you just go back to that eyedropper. One other thing first, first. Actually, I don't know if I might be able to do this. You go to the paint bucket. You've already got your blue chosen. And then you just go to the bottom. Boom. Now you've got that blue. And then you go back to the black. Pick your eyedropper. You've already got your eyedropper. Pick that black. Okay. Paint bucket. Boom. Now you're done. Now I am going to kind of blend those lines just a smidge here real quick. We're on black. We're going to go to pencil. I'm just going to draw a line across. And then we're going to go down and do the blue. Okay, I like the looks of that better. So, now we've got our picture the right size to fit this pen. And then we print it. Now, I'm, obviously, I'm not going to be able to show you the hard copy, but we go up to print. And I've actually already done this. I just wanted to show you how I did it. So I go to print, and we've already got it set up. I print these out on adhesive labels, you know, like your envelope, throw in the mail labels and you peel it off and then you stick it to the envelope. So I've got half sheet ones for labels, address labels. I just print it out to that and then we'll we'll go on to prep in the blank uh, in another video. So we're height 223, width, buck and a quarter, print, and boom. It's gonna come out just like this on our labels. And then our next step is gonna be to prepare our blanks with it. So thanks for stopping in DanBarPens.com. Check out the next video to see where we go next, and we'll talk with you soon. See ya.